Hey everybody, my name is Graham, and this is my backyard of uh, this horse training facility. And I'm working on a, an idea for this season, for the growth. A lot of people ask me, what's your, what's your next project, what are you up to? And this is it. And I was just standing here and I thought I'd bring you guys along briefly for just a little, a little quiet of the forest back here. All the chirping birds. Anyhow, I've got to plan out a path, making a new path. And if you're new here, uh, I work with horses, some of them my own, some of them other people's, and we do a lot of stuff in the arena, but we also want to do stuff out on trails. And my dream has always been to be able to do my trail riding practice originally here so that I have... Oh, the birds are so chirpy today. Uh, so that I have sort of the safety of home available. I don't have to trailer if I don't need to. This little tiny, it's just a little drainage creek, you know, but it's pretty cool. And I've always wanted to have sort of a whole trail system. Now I've got a little trail system, but I'm picking, or I'm building a bigger one. And I'm back here, if you look way over there, there's the covered arena. And this, this little pathway here was built, I think, second year in or so. But I want to create another one that sort of skirts the edge of this little, little watery drainage thing. And I thought I'd bring you guys along because I've been working hard on this. And we can see about what, this is probably about a third of the new pathway. So all of these, these little sticks that I've got, they're, uh, they're given to me actually by a lady that got out of horses. And they're used when you go camping or you're out and about and you want to hook up a, uh, a line to keep your horses in. You just kind of chuck these in the ground and then the top bits have little hooks that you put your line into. But anyway, so this pathway is, <laughs> is for the time being just sort of cleared and organized. But I've got to bring in an excavator and work this pathway when it dries out a little bit. We've got a little bit of the wet season still. So, <laughs> again, it's muddy. We get, we get a lot of rain. It's a rainforest. So here in the Pacific Northwest, in Canada, on the West Coast, and it rains quite a bit. So it gets pretty soggy, <laughs> and um, bringing in a heavy machine into muddy, soggy conditions is a great way to get it stuck, which, I have actually done a couple times in the past. And you can see this little bit here, this tiny little drainage ditch that drains from up there. And the horses are out right now. We'll go say hi to them in a second. But this little pathway, I think, is just going to be, it's just going to skirt the edge. Kind of see where the covered arena is up there. It's just going to skirt this edge, head off that way. And uh, it's really going to be fantastic. But I wanted to bring you guys along because there's a lot of people who do ask, well, what are you up to next? And this is it. And I'll show you. I'll come out here. Oh. Uh, here's our pathway that um, I, we built last year. And this goes, this goes up, obviously, to the front. And then it's going to branch off that way. And it comes around here. And this is a, the original trail that was built, huh, I think it was the second year. Just drove an excavator through here and just kind of said, oh, where should we go? And went that way. The last year was this pathway. And this pathway is about, uh, I think about 380 feet, which really isn't that much, but it is still, fantastic practice when you come out of the arena or you come out of either one of the arenas, the covered arena, the small arena, the big one, from riding, practicing, going forward, <laughs> backwards, left, right, and all that. And come out here into this little forest area and it feels really cool. Look you at know, all the, <laughs> the horses are staring at me. Let's go say hi to everybody. And this little pathway as well goes up here. And 
for everybody that complimented me on this little drainage thing. We actually improved on it, got ourselves a little bit of rock, sort of hide the pipe that's there, and a little bit on this side. It just looks a little nicer. And this pathway goes up here. And so the idea is that there will be, let's see, there will be a path that goes off over that way down there to that area that we were at. And that will, hopefully, I haven't measured it out fully, but it should add on another six to 700 feet of pathway, putting a grand total over two years of a thousand feet of all weather trail on the property, which is fantastic. Because once we get out of the arena, to go trail riding, well, we're gonna need to get a little bit of practice. And uh, <laughs> Mr. Wilds getting chased around a little. And then we get a little bit of that forest time and off, off of the area that has, or out of the area that has the fencing. Because being in the fencing for us as humans feels a little bit safer. And so our energy might come up and that'll affect the horse or their energy will come up because they're leaving their friends and we want to test that out before we actually go out and about. So it's a great time to do that. What are you guys up to? If you guys are new here, this is, I've nicknamed her Little Miss. She's a little BC Wildie here for training. Not my horse, an absolute sweetie. Hello. Yep, this is Luke. Luke is mine. He's been with me since he was three or so. And uh, he's a rescue. And uh, he is what is referred to as an appendix. Don't really know, but he was sold as an appendix, which is a cross between a quarter horse and a thoroughbred. How far are you going to follow me, man? Not too far. Doesn't want to leave his girl unprotected. Hey, you better go get Mr. Wild. Hey. Stop biting her, I'm here now. So Mr. Wild, he is my BC Wildie that I got last year. If you're new, if you're old here, you know who this guy is. And he is fantastic. He has really come a long ways, filled out, grown up, bigger muscles, all kinds of stuff, learning lots of things. Currently wanting to push her around a little. Luke usually gets in the middle of that. This is Yoka. She is boarded here. She's an Icelandic. Can't remember her age, 14 or 15. Just a big, huge mop top. Beauty of a horse. Look at these three. Luke, you better go get him. He's going to get your girl. What are you following me for? I've escaped. Sometimes he follows me quite a ways. This is Gracie. Gracie's an Arabian. She is a heck of a lot of fun. Usually kind of noisy. Hello. She's really loving her red head scratches, and head rubs. Dude, you look like you want something, but I don't know what it is. Probably some kind of scratchings. This is Macaroni, or Roni. He's a quarter horse, about the same age as Luke. I think they're both nine, eight or nine. A lovely horse, very sensitive. Right? Very sensitive horse, very kind. Quite lovely. And of course, last but not least, Lena. Our Oldenburg cross where they draft warm blood from the States as a rescue. 14 or 15. And this is usually the view I get from her. So she's mine, Luke's mine. Ronnie's mine, Gracie's mine, Mr. Wild is mine, and those two boarding training. And I just got word today we might be getting in one more Wildy. Not mine, but here for hopefully some training for some basics. What's up, Luke? What can I help you with? 
Luke is um, a very interesting horse. Gracie has, ah, oh, geez, here comes trouble. Here comes trouble. You know, you talk too loud, you should back up. Gotta be very cautious of horses that chee chat too loud. Like that, she says, I'm going to do what I want. And you could just say, no, back off. I'll go to you. Hey, don't make a mess of things. Get out of here. This guy's in there scooping a poop. They do a terrible job of it. So, um, the goal of this place has progressed over time, but the usage, the land usage has always stayed the same. The arenas are for some good training to get the basics and then out and about we go. Not only out there, but out in the trails around here. Some gorgeous parks to get into. It's got to be a little bit on the property first. It's always safer, easier, better. Um, and you don't need a trailer. <laughs> well, go get him. Yell at him a little bit louder and he'll leave. He's coming around. Let's see what happens. Oh, Yoka's going to say, no, I'm standing here, sucker. Great job, Gracie. You're the best. Yeah. <laughs> Very noisy. How are you talking to? She's desperate for something from me. She does not want to share if there is such a thing. So, and uh, yeah, the, the really neat news is it's quite possible we'll have another wildy here, which is Feels like coincidence, but because we're collecting wildies here and working more for getting wildies trained up and rescued and stuff like that, it feels like, don't do that. You guys are gonna make a mess of things. Go on, get out of here. Luke's always scooping up the poop and making a mess, so I usually discourage him. Hey, as I was, as I was saying, the... Uh, Hi, Lena. It's pretty close. I don't want to scratch you. I've scratched so many horses today, I don't know what to do with myself. Scratching and scrubbing and stuff. Here comes Gracie again. But we want to help as many BC Wildies as possible. Some people own them already. Obviously, one that's here is mine. Mr. Wild, and one is here that's not. And I've actually received word that there are more being rounded up soon. And unfortunately, we don't have a lot of space to be able to accommodate, especially if another one's gonna come in to have some training done and be a friendly horse to the humans around and be educated. Because an educated horse is an alive horse. Uneducated horses usually get kind of put down and. If you scoop that stuff up, you're going to be in. Look at this guy. He's got to go over and smush it and scoop it. And... Don't do it, man. Here comes Gracie. Gracie, bite him in the butt. Oh, she's thinking about it. Interesting behaviors out of these horses today. They've been quite busy, but always together. You see, I've got. Aw, you guys look cute together. Hello. You just hanging around with your best friend? She loves Luke. Don't you? You love him. He's your best friend sometimes. Yeah. She's such a sweetie. You would not believe how big of a sweetie she is. And she loves a good eye massage. You could you could massage her eye all day long. What is it, Luke? What can I help you with? So, There's a cheese chat. Bite him. Oh. Hello. Do you need the other eye done? She loves it. She just she just loves a good eye rub. Kick him. He deserves it. Maybe not right now. 
But we'd like to be able to continue to rescue the wildies. And if it means that somebody has rescued them and then brings them here for some work, that is absolutely fantastic. It means that other people are inclined and and looking to grab one of these. I mean, they are wonderful. BC wildies are the best horses I've ever worked with. Hands down. Yeah, buddy, even better than you. Maybe. You're pretty cool too. You should be a BC Wildie. We'll just pretend you are. Even though he did actually come from a proper rescue facility. But the Wildies are fantastic. Very smart. Usually quite kind. You're fearful and worried. But what are you doing? Why are you doing that? Get off the fence. Go. Go. No more butt rubbing. Uh-oh, I hear somebody behind me. Yeah. It's the posse. No, Lena. You don't want to. I'm chitty chatting. So, so it's good news. And the path at the back is well on its way to getting started. So I'll give you guys a little quick tour, but I'll do a proper video soon on what gets done to build all weather pathways because here it is way too wet to not. And Luke's coming. And if we were to build them wrong, then they just turn into to muck. To muck. Mud and muck and, and it's no good. Hey buddy. Go get him. Okay. Ooh, geez. You guys are a little too, uh, I don't know if the word is possessive or not. And he's going to bite him. Butt punch. He almost got Ronnie, but he actually just kind of slid under his head. Anyhow, lots of fun with the horses today. So I thought I would just uh, come out and say hi to everybody with you guys. And uh, yeah, good news. Things are good. It's been a wonderful last few days with the weather. Today got a little rainy. But tomorrow's supposed to pick up again, kind of nice. A little bit of sun, a little bit of cloud, a little bit of blue, a little bit of gray, and a lot of brown and white. Lena's yelling at him. You're in trouble. He says, I don't care. I'm back up again, see what happens. Oh, Roni came in. That's that. He sorted that out. For some reason, Luke's got two girls, he's the man. <laughs> Hello little one, we have a competition from the other little one, she's coming over, she's thinking about it. Yoka the fluff. On a side note, everybody's been writing comments about Yoka and uh, her spelling of her name actually starts with a J. The J is kind of a silent, a silent J. It's not a Y. So something to think about. Look at this thing. I'd love it. Who wouldn't love this? Anyhow, she's fantastic. She's doing really well with all kinds of uh, stuff. It's fantastic. Hopefully I can talk about it soon. These two have been really interesting with this stuff the last three or four days or so being quite close and back and forth and back and forth they'll go with uh, this nibblins on the face. <laughs> Hello. What's going on you guys? They always get a little more curious when I kneel down. Wonder what the heck I'm doing down here. Just staying low and quiet. And uh, come over and sniff and hang out. Horse, oh, horse nose for the day. It's cute, right? Look at her. She's right underneath them. Oh, not the safest place to be, but kind of fun. Kind of fun. Luke is there, right behind Luke. 
Gracie's over here, not the safest. I think she's gonna make her way over. So I have to watch out. Hey. Jeez. Is this claustrophobic on camera? Because it feels a little claustrophobic in person. So I'm going to back up. Anyhow, that's about it. So a couple of little uh, things to tell you guys. Hopefully that's interesting. Look forward to some stuff in the very near future. <laughs> Here she comes. Because I'm excited. I think it's going to be great. And the beginning of the trail has started. It's mapped out at least halfway. And I got to get the other side of the property done. Have it link up. And then excavator, gravel, fabric. I'll talk about all that in another video. Okay, that's it for now. I'm going to play with the horses a little bit. And I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Gracie, you are the most adorable. Everybody loves you. Did you know that? Yeah. Big difference from your last location you were at. Nobody liked you. I don't, well, not nobody. But yeah. It's a bad attitude. <laughs> I know Yoko's on her way. I don't want to scratch this thing. Here it comes. Okay, fine. Just this once though. I said I was gonna go and I gotta go. Things to do. Well, I gotta play with horses a bit, but I do have things to do. Watch your tail. Oh, it's with you two. Somebody's gonna yell at somebody. Okay, that's it. <laughs> I'm really going to shut this thing down, and I'll see you guys in the next one.